Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Frecky here, and today I'm gonna to be making some banana ice cream. So I've had a lot of people actually request that I make banana ice cream on camera for you guys. And it's super, super easy. So I was kind of wondering how can I make a whole video about banana ice cream? Because seriously, when you see it, it's, it's super quick. Um, so I decided that I'm gonna make different kinds. I'm gonna be making some peanut butter chip banana ice cream, some chocolate chip ice cream, and some cookies and cream ice cream. Uh, all banana ice cream, of course. And the, just so you know, I'm gonna just make those three, but if you do not add any of the toppings, then the banana ice cream by itself is 1.1 point, which is super, super easy and low in points. Don't know why I said easy again, but yeah, I did. Okay, so for the banana ice cream, for all the different kinds that I'm gonna be making, you will need bananas. Now, typically you want your bananas really, really ripe. These I wouldn't typically use, um, but I went to the grocery store last night. So I did not have time to let them fully ripen up, but you want them with brown spots. You want them like, you know, where they're verging on going bad because when they are like that, they're really, really sweet. So today it'll be a little bit different, but it's still gonna taste really, really good. And for basic, you'll need that and then you will need Almond milk, you're gonna use a cup of that, and then a vanilla extract. This is imitation vanilla extract, but actually it's the real stuff. I just put it in this container because I had a couple of small ones that were almost out, so I just poured them in there. Um, and that is all you're gonna need. It's gonna be one teaspoon of that, one cup of that, and two and a half, half cups of these. And then for the extra stuff, um, this is the, pe the Reese's peanut butter cups. Um, chips, Reese's peanut butter chips, and one serving of this is one table or one teaspoon or one tablespoon. I can't talk, um, which is also 15 grams. So you can use a scale to measure it out, or use an actual measuring cup or measuring spoon. I went with a measuring spoon route this time because this guy over here. Let's get an angle where you can see. Trying to get grams on that, just 15 of them, really, really hard. So until I get a digital scale, I went with the uh, actual measuring spoon. For the chips, for those, it's 2.2 bites for one tablespoon. And then it's the same measurement for the mini chocolate chips. This is just my local grocery store brand. It's essential every day. Um, but those guys, it's one tablespoon also, or 15 grams, whichever method you're doing, and that equals to be uh, 1.9 bites. So that's a little bit lower in bites. And then we have, I got Oreo Thins, just to make them a little bit healthier. And with that, you can get four of those little cookies, or 29 grams, however you're measuring, and that would be 3.9 bites. And with those, I did just kind of break them up. Like they're in a little container here. I just kind of mashed them up so that I can put them, mix them in afterwards. All right, so let's get to blending. All right, so here I have my pre-frozen bananas. What I did was I peeled them and then I just cut them in half and throw them in a container. And overnight, frozen is best, so they're really, really hard. If you just freeze them for a few hours, I find that the center is not uh, solid enough, and when you blend it, it's it's a little more smoothie texture. And so I freeze them overnight, or even sometimes a couple of days, and that tends to solve that issue. But if you do, do it, if you're impatient and do it a little bit early, you just pop it back in the freezer until it gets hard. And then, you know, go from there. All right, so literally just put them in. I am just putting them, I'd like to make sure that I get them down between the blades. And you want two and a half bananas. So kind of easy to just figure out. Each, I cut them in half, so that's two bananas and then one more to make a half. And then literally one cup of the almond milk. This is the Full Circle brand, it's the unsweetened normal almond milk. And pour it in. 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 Pour it
pour that in. I mean, seriously. Like, that's why I almost felt it was ridiculous to make a whole video because this is super, super simple. Normally I splash, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the measuring cup method and get one teaspoon. That way we know we are being exact. And you pour that in there. Seriously. Super, super, oh there it is. I was like, where'd I put the lid? All right, so from there, you just literally blend. Super, super easy. Oh, make sure your lid is on all the way. Otherwise, um, it splashes everywhere. It's getting all over my pretty little unicorn. have to do is after you've blended a little bit you go through and you just kind of push the bananas back down into the blades don't judge me for using my mouth as a holder Pretty that is. That is ice cream, y'all. Okay, now this one, I'm just gonna put in a Rubbermaid container because I'm not gonna be eating all of these today. So this one, oh, let me scoot back so you guys can see. Like, look how. Creamy and smooth and ice creamy. Ice creamy? Ice creamy? I don't know what word I'm speaking. But boom. So that is if you were gonna just have it plain. It amazing. I am going to put the crushed up Oreo, the Oreo thins in here. And so literally, you sprinkle it on top and make sure you get all of it. And then you just mix it together. Like, I mean, it's not rocket science, guys. I'm gonna turn that a little bit. There we go. Don't need my uh, boob hanging out on the camera here. Not a large enough channel to be monetized, but don't wanna <laughs> have any monetization strikes. All right. So you just mix that up. And if you want more, if you're okay with more points, you can mix more in there. But I don't mind just that bit because with it all mixed up, pretty much wherever you're going to put it or take a bite, you'll have a little bit of something in there. And that tastes yummy. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid on it and I'm popping this sucker back in the freezer. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off and start number two. All right, so the next batch starts just the same. This one I end up breaking up a little bit smaller, but this is still two and a half bananas. And you just throw them in there. I really don't know if I need to be recording <laughs> me making this each time, because seriously, it's the same process, and then I'm just changing the toppings. Now you can 
go through and if you get some cocoa powder, you can put a little bit of that in there and make it chocolate flavored. That is something you can easily do. You can add berries like blueberries or strawberries and those would be things that you would mix in while you're actually blending. Well, I would blend this first and then um, and then add that in and blend it a little bit longer. But it's just the same thing, the bananas, the cup of almond milk, and then the vanilla. Put it back on and let's make sure the lid's all the way on this time. Pop it on here. Ignore the um, sewing machine over there. That was my mom's and I've held on to it for years, but it no longer works. So I'm finally gonna break down and take it to the trash and that will be a sad moment for me, but I cannot afford to fix it. And at this point, I think it'd just be easier to get a new one for if I want to learn how to sew. So yeah, so ignore that. And I just keep taking it off and checking until I see this lovely pretty little swirl because that's how you know when it's done. All right, so that one is done. Take this off. Sorry, that was probably loud. That probably was not cute for you guys. But I like to make sure that I get as much off of there as I can because if you're tracking points and you get all of it, why not get as much of it as you can? You know what I'm saying? I'm a little greedy. All right, and so in this one, I'm going to be putting the chocolate chips. So that is the one tablespoon of those. And again, same thing. You're just sprinkling it on and mixing it up. I guess I should organize my bowls and lids a little bit. And again, you can make more. And what I thought about doing, but I did not, was putting a little bit of cocoa powder in this, because then it would be chocolate chip, chocolate banana ice cream. So then it would be really, really good. All right, so boom. And there you have it. Having that splash of chocolate really, really makes it yummy. All right, go in the freezer. Rinse and repeat. All right, so I miscalculated. You see this? There should be one more right here. I did not do that last night. So this one I'm going to have to adjust a little bit. I'm gonna just go ahead and put in the two bananas. And I'm gonna use just a little bit less almond milk. Um, kind of making this up as I go along right now. So I'm just gonna do like two thirds of a cup. Let's start there. Cause honestly, when I first started making this, I, kind of eyeballed a lot, or I, I didn't know. I didn't have a recipe, I just heard about it. And so I would start with a little bit and then add more milk if I needed to. And I'm gonna go just a little under a teaspoon of this guy. But yeah, so, I mean, you can adjust it however you need to. If you do not have enough bananas, like I apparently don't, which, hello, there's bananas everywhere. I got like two big bunches of them, but I didn't freeze the proper amount. So yeah. And again, make sure your lid is on. I don't know if you can see all that, but it is splattering. Okay, lid on tight. I can tell I need a little bit more 
almond milk in this this mug. So like an eighth of a cup. And this guy needs to be pushed down. Laid on all the way. Am I moving the camera or is the blender moving it? Because I realize it's getting like more and more into my business. And there we go. It is a little bit more liquidy than before. So um, measurements were not exact. But I think it'll still be fine. And this one I am putting in my Hulk bowl because I'm going to be eating this one. So for this one, because if you know me, you know I love peanut butter. So I got the, the Reese's Peanut Butter Chips. You can also add actual peanut butter to it while you're mixing, but I chose to go this route. Um, and the only thing is since they are bigger, like you don't get as many of them as you do the many other dudes. So that's something to keep in mind. So the flavor won't be as everywhere as the other ones, but you could always add a little bit more because I mean at 2.2 bites uh, for a tablespoon, you can easily make it 4.4 and double it or you know, whatever the math is for half of it. But yeah, so there is that. Yum. All right, so let's have it. I'm really excited because this first bite, I can see right off the top is some of that. It does add a nice peanut buttery flavor. Um, I think the next time that I make it, I will go ahead and try with peanut butter and just mixing it in so that it's everywhere. I, as a customer, even pointed out to me yesterday, Peanut butter is a weakness of mine. So I try not to buy it because I tend to want to eat the whole thing. But I feel like 11 weeks in, my willpower is pretty strong, so I think I'd be okay. Because I have all of that dessert stuff, the the chips and the Oreos sitting on my table, and I, I, I'm not worried about it. So I think I actually could do it that route. Right. Oh, ignore that face. A piece of it went right up in my uh, tooth. That was really cold. Really, really cold. But, um, but yeah, I'm actually really glad that I am making this video because last night my roommate decided to make cheesecake. So there is a big old cheesecake, my number two weakness, sitting in my icebox right now. So I'm having ice cream and it's only and it's only 2.2 bites for this whole bowl. Let me get my fingers on the right point. There we go. Hulk smash. Um, so versus however many points the cheesecake would be. I don't know what recipe he used, but yeah, I'm sure it's a whole, whole lot more for even a little bit of that. As I was falling asleep last night, I hear the blender going. I'm like, what's he doing? And then I get up this morning and I see my, my spring form pan in the sink. So I open the ice box and there's cheesecake. I was like, oh, okay, well, uh-oh. Yeah, so this tastes really, really good. And you can, obviously, like I said, you can pop it back in the freezer and um, have it later. This does freeze a little bit harder than normal ice cream. So if I ever do that, I pop it in the microwave for like five seconds and kind of try to start stirring it up. Sorry, my tripod is being a little jerk face. So you can do that. I did hear um, somebody add one tablespoon of vodka to it, and then it, it doesn't freeze all the way, so you blend that in, and then in the freezer it won't freeze all the way, so it won't get that rock hard. Um, I haven't tried it, especially because, you know, vodka costs, you know, a couple points. Um, I'm sure a tablespoon isn't much, because I think it's, one and a half ounces is four points. So I don't know how much a tablespoon is. I haven't done the math on that. But yeah, I prefer to just make it when I want it because I like this soft serve texture. When it is harder, I don't mind um, 
I don't mind it, but it, it doesn't taste like ice cream. Then it does taste like I'm being, you know, stingy and, you know, having a fake health food. Versus like this, it tastes really, really good. It tastes like ice cream. But I love the peanut butter in here. I do wish I had more peanut butter flavoring, but I don't really want to put the points in there. Because they're 2.2 bites, right? Yeah, for the peanut butter chips. For the ice cream itself, I, I, I misquoted earlier. 3.3 bites for this whole container. 2.2 for just the chips. So you know, it's early. I think I might add another tablespoon of peanut, uh, peanut butter chips in here. One sec, y'all. All right, you're my witness. That is one tablespoon going in. So now it has another 2.2 bites to it. So instead of 3.3, 3, 5.5. For a bowl of ice cream, not bad. It's gonna look very good side in the mouth. But yeah, so this is good. So hopefully you guys try it. It's super easy, like I said. I did not know how I was gonna do a whole video on it. That's why I added in the little mix-ins. I still feel it's a little bit silly to watch me blend it three times. But, you know, it is what it is. I should have, I didn't feel like spending a lot of money last night, guys, like, for a video. Um, when I have it, cool, but uh, this is gonna be a lot of ice cream. But like I said, if you mix in cocoa powder or berries or strawberries, blueberries, whatever kind of berries, you can mix those in. I saw one that was for pina colada flavor. So you use coconut milk instead of almond milk. You add in pineapple. And you can even put like some coconut shavings on it if you want to. That sounded pretty good. Uh, again, I was, I was already buying bags of chips and cookies. I did not want to add more in, especially because, you know, I got to eat some other stuff today. I'm not just going to eat ice cream all darn day. Although... I cream all day sounds amazing. All right, so I'm not gonna sit here and eat the whole thing on camera. I thought about it, but it's gonna take a little bit to eat and I don't think I can uh, entertain you guys for that long. Um, so yeah, if you make it, let me know. I'd love to hear what you think of it. Uh, it was really interesting that one other YouTuber ended up making the pizza that I made. And it's interesting to hear other, other uh, opinions. Like she didn't love it, she didn't hate it, she liked it but um, she didn't love it. But she did end up switching the non-fat Greek yogurt to regular yogurt, and she said it tasted a lot better. I did not have any weird um, non-fat Greek yogurt aftertaste like they did. It could be a brand thing, I'm not sure. That's something good to know. If you don't like it, the, the regular yogurt wasn't that much more fat in calories than uh, the non-fat Greek yogurt, so cool. So if you know something else to do with this, let me know. I'd be really, really fascinated to find out. That's that, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it there. So as I always say, if you're on a journey, please let me know. I'd love to hear your guys' stories. I'm getting more and more commenters, and I love hearing how everyone is doing. So let me know how you're doing, what your journey is, what your goals are, and please like, comment, share, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Hit the little bell so you know when I post videos. And so until Sunday when I do my weigh-in, I'll talk to you later.